It's time for One Minute to Millions. Robert Quiver is one of the architects of the billion-dollar Howard Stern radio brand is back. And Noelle Goldman is here. She's the founder of Strap Tamers. Her products are debuting in Target today. And the company in the hot seat tonight is called Butch and Harold. Hi, Donnie. I'm Ariane. And I'm Michelle. We're sisters and the co-founders of Butch and Harold. And we have an idea that's going to make millions. It's artwork that requires no hanging, hooks, or hammers. It doesn't damage your walls, it doesn't peel the paint, you can save it and reuse it, and it decorates any home. Tired of it in your kitchen? Move it to your living room. Tired of it in your living room? Move it to the bedroom. Sonny, help us make millions! All right, Michelle, we'll give it our best shot here. So basically, this is art you just stick on the wall, you move it, it doesn't take the paint off, That's it's right. just, okay. This is instant framed art in the form of a sticker. There you go. Now, okay, the name. Where the heck did you come up with the name Butch and Harold? Does everyone ask, why are you called Butch and Harold? Butch and Harold are the names of our imaginary childhood dogs growing up. The first two designs that we came up with for this collection were those two dogs that we saw there. Super okay. Cute dogs. Do we like the name, Robin? Yes or no? no. Do we like the name? No, no. Yes or enough, no? Yes. Wow. Okay. Why don't we like it? Because it's a brand new product. There's nothing like it on the market, and Butch and Harold doesn't tell me anything. Yeah. What I do like is that in the design world, you can get away with a name like Ann Taylor or Ralph Lauren. You can do it. So if you're going for a design kind of feeling, Butch and Harold can work. You can make it work with a good descriptor. What was your descriptor? Peel. Stick, love, repeat. Okay. And Good. it's shown every time we show our Good logo. Good descriptor. I agree with Robin. My, this is a, it's almost a new category. And also, it's masculine. I, to me, if it's a decoration for the home, I, if there were two names, I would have two female names. The mistake a lot of people make, they go, oh, I named it after my kids. People don't know that backstory. So right. I have an issue with the name. I would go back to the drawing board. Not, okay, let's go right into t uh, the uh, packaging. Tell me how this thing is sold packaging-wise. We're really proud of our packaging. It really draws people in. It's colorful. It's vibrant. When they're merchandised together, it looks like a rainbow of colors. Each item has in the individual picture of what's inside, a description, and of course our website, butchandherald.com. So it's in this canister here. Robin, do you like the packaging, yes or no? Love the packaging. Noelle, yes or no? Love the packaging. Okay, what do we yes. love about it? I love the number one, you can see all the colors. You get a full picture of what it looks like on the little uh, tag that comes in front. It tells mm -hmm. you what it is and gives you a full description. Love it. Noelle? Mm -hmm. I would just prefer that it say peel and stick artwork so it says exactly what the product is, but I agree with Robin that the tube is lovely it should merchandise very nicely i like it a lot Thank i you. would make this this descriptor peel stick love repeat is a nice set of words it's small here i would and i wish i, I wish there was some big set of words on here that said what this is this is the new removable art you can put on your walls kind of thing i wouldn't know i really struggle frankly looking at this to see what what it, what this is just from this. And but as a woman, I would know what that is. You would. And I want to see the colors. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's that's probably who your audience is going to be. I also love the whole feeling of urban chic, and I would add that somewhere on here as okay. well. Okay. Okay. Target audience. Who's our target audience? Women, 16 to 30. Anybody who has a bare wall they want to decorate. Urban dwellers, apartments where you can't damage the walls, college dorms. So more, obviously, a younger audience as people go on a little further in life, probably obviously not the kind of stuff they, they put can down. They afford real Robin, art. what do you think? Yes or no on the target? Yes. What do we think? No, yes. yes or no. What do we like about it? We like that it's for people who are in temporary uh, situations, kids who are going from dorm room to dorm room. It's um, something they can take with them so they're not wasting their money when they buy it. They can roll it up and take it. They can change. They will always want to change. They can change it anytime they want it's perfect for that age well when you're first trying to find your artistic footing sometimes you get very fickle and you want to try something over here and then over there so I think it's great for people who are just starting out like Robin said with new dorm rooms you can take it with you to the next one so yeah I think the age demographic is perfect great yeah perfect. obviously a younger audience that first dwell of the college people it's hard to argue with that. okay price point what's our price point $35 $35 Robin yes or no I say yes yes or no? I say no. Okay, what do we like about Robin? I think that for art, $35 is perfect. It's it's something you can keep. You don't take this off your wall and throw it away. You roll it up and you take it with you. It's going to last you a very long time. Noel? I think that if you went for $19.95, you might have a little bit smaller profit margin, but I think that people would buy two or three at a time and then block them on the wall and have even more design. So you would expand your sales. And also, the target market that you're going after might be a little bit cash poor as opposed to a older target market. Okay, lower the price a little bit. I tend to try and get it under 30 bucks. Obviously, under 20 would be great. Okay, let's come full circle overall.
Miss Quivers, do, is this a big idea? Yes. Noelle, Thank is this you. a big idea? Yes, it is. Thank you. You know what you gotta do? Go out and make those millions. One big idea. <laughs> Thank Straight you. Up.